Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato and I'm playing with Neo Beta preset custom world generation preset here again. And guys, you know, I mean, I love old Minecraft, okay? But I like new Minecraft too. I'm I am I am version agnostic, which means I don't care. I'm going to play whatever version I want to play, whatever version has some mods or you know plugins or stuff that appeal to me and i'll just go and play the version that i like but there's some things that are probably objectively important okay and that is that the biomes have have imposed some structure on things like ever since beta 1.8.1 and as I said, I'm version agnostic. I've played most of the important Minecraft versions many, many times. Enough to understand them. But, you know, underneath the surface is this alpha beta noise generator. And Neo Beta is bringing that out. I mean, here it is, guys. This is just planes. Okay, this right here. It's just the plains biome with Neo Beta applied to it. Okay? This is what we're missing is these mountains, these varying heights across every biome. That's what's being missed. Right now it's being forced into the extreme hills biomes and the hills variations biomes. And, you know, I was reading on some forums on the minecraft forum you know there's posts about oh the terrain generations horrid and all this kind of stuff right but the reason one of the reasons that people mention that starts to make sense and this is what i'm exploring is that npc villages the introduction of npc villages this was probably some things that was going on in the background because you have to remember that spawn human was one of the very first features of minecraft so npcs were always in not just mine in the beginning okay but the introduction of npc villages like forced a certain type of structure because i mean right now they are they can be derpy but we don't really know how derpy they can be until we start to throw them into beta type terrain now this one's actually pretty decent because i've added the flatter part of the presets to it but i'll show you some this is with mo villages by the way too but of course these are all plains villages because this is nothing but plains this whole world is plains guys with neo beta applied on top of it but let's like go over here and look at like what can happen to villages when they're thrown into this kind of terrain this noisy kind of terrain, right? Now this one's not horrible, but it's it's trying to adapt and adjust to it. Like this house is basically buried. Completely. Just buried. So I'm thinking that it is certainly true that they were thinking, okay, if we're going to do NPC villages and we're not going to you know go to great great links or i don't know uh you know we don't want to put much effort into trying to make them these extremely adaptable i'm not sure i'm just guessing on that but we're just going to force them into certain biomes now let's just think about where npc villages go they go into plains they go into desert okay not desert mountain they go into desert they go into taiga was introduced later um you know they do not go into extreme hills they do not go into you know areas where there's a lot of height variation it seems like from a design standpoint that that was a decision that was made that we need to separate off biomes to make flatter versions of biomes so that we can get our NPC villages inside of them. 
you know that that starts to make some sense and you know like i said here i am adapting forcing these villages into more of a structure or you know more of a chaotic environment and you know sometimes they adapt well this this is a flatter version of neo beta uh, i'll have a video on how to flatten it out a little bit in certain areas but you know they don't always adapt that well and so if they're uh you know set up with extremely different height variations mountains then they don't really always adapt all that well to it so i'm thinking that that is a valid um insight into the thinking that was going behind why this why these changes were made okay but i mean look at this this is planes this is planes with ne neo beta so this is what was originally going on with alpha you know and then a beta adapted it even more but i mean look at this guys this is immaculately amazing and it's only planes that's it it's just the planes so the npc villages is what needs work okay now, now in the newer versions they've started to introduce you know variations on the buildings <laughs> look at this sweeping that's amazing looking um there's everything's amazing about this it's just amazing um but you know i'm going to look at this work with this mod muon more because this mod muon is fixing these villages fixing a lot of the problems with these villages okay so this is just kind of a, a, a philosophy video uh, 2019 I'm gonna be looking strongly at how to uh, get into the heart of Minecraft the heart of the magic of it the magic of it okay and it's not about nostalgia it's not about you know pining for the past of something that you know we need to we're not talking subjective feelings that's not what i'm looking for right now some of this magical exploration you know you're never going to recreate your very first experience when you very first saw a witch you're never going to recreate that that's not what we're talking about that's nostalgia and you know that that's that's something that's amorphous that's that's set in time that's a period of time a uh, point in time that you know it's never going to be the same but we're trying to look objectively at what is changed you know what is excellent about this game what was excellent about this game and you know just how to find the heart of it to to go into the heart of it so i'm really looking for that in 2019 to really because i think they're i think mojang is doing some amazing stuff right now i think we're potentially entering a golden age of minecraft but it's just kind of off into another thing i mean now they're you know incorporating elements of subnautica they're, they're kind of like bringing in other game ideas into minecraft which is fine i have no problem with that at all i mean the oceans needed completely reworking the npc villages needed completely reworking um you know i have no problem with all that at all uh, i mean there's nothing wrong with uh them introducing more mobs and stuff like that i mean the only problem is is that it's it's now core to the game you don't have the ability to like turn it off so they'll have to have mobs that mods that remove mobs but whereas before we had mods that added mobs you know what i'm saying so i mean you, you, it all works itself out uh mods can do amazing things and some of the 1.12.2 mods 
I mean, the level of control that we have now, terrain control, cave control, I mean, it's pretty amazing, guys. Now, the lack of custom world types, custom world generation for 113 and 114 is a problem. But, I, you know, hey, I'm happy. I got plenty to play with in this coming year just with 1.12, with, with the amount of mods that are in 1.12. So I have no problem with that. So anyway, guys, this is just like I said, a philosophy look and um, I'm looking ahead. But I mean, it's so inspiring to look around and go, you know what? This is this is planes. This is what planes could be. And it feels like an alpha world or a beta, a beta you know, 1.7, you know, from 1.2 to 1.7 type world. I mean, it just feels alpha beta because this is the philosophy that was going on. And then again, they started to have to segregate off types. And I do believe that some of the reasoning, as I mentioned, was the introduction of NPC villages, trying to incorporate those in to the overall terrain generation. And maybe a mod like Muon can be more adaptable to handle this kind of stuff okay and so we're going to look into that anyway that's gonna be it for this video i hope you enjoyed it this is technical type stuff and it's me man this is what i do so if you like this you like me if you don't like this then you don't like me so there you go have a great day bye, -bye.